my name is Eugene Dalton. I'm principal here at Our Lady Help of Christian School, which is uh, situated in the east, eastern part of Warrnambool. We started to attract more enrolments from that northeast part of Warrnambool, um, and naturally we then had a concern with uh, their, their safe movement across the highway to, to the school. Um, so we contacted Nicole as a traffic liaison officer at the Warrnambool Council, um, and then she put us through um, Bike Ed and uh, Bicycle Victoria and a few other groups that were to support us in, in the process of how we could um, look at safer routes all around for not just the children from the north but all around us getting, to, getting here to Our Lady. So. We actually did, did some walks with the kids from various parts of the, of, of the town as they get here to school. Um, so we walked home with them, looked at where safe crossing points were, um, and so eventually that basically footprints were put in the ground, signs were put up to say this is a safe crossing point, uh, maps were drawn up uh, to indicate what were safe routes to school, where good crossing points were. So yeah. we developed a, a Wednesday walking group, um, which was a supervised walking group. So we got lots of numbers on a Wednesday when, when that supervision took place. Numbers other days of the week weren't as great because people were worried about safety aspects, getting across roads and things like that. So That probably wasn't the hardest sell at all. They, they probably knew that um, it was beneficial for the kids from the point of view of their health, a um, bit more exercise, their independence. On a daily basis now, we probably get about 40 or 50 that ride, uh, ride and walk to school. That would have been down to, when we first started, we probably had a dozen. We're looking at um, just changing our curriculum slightly so that Bike Ed becomes a, a greater offering at the 3-4 level, which I think is probably the appropriate age to, to tackle the kids to ride to school because they've got um, control of the bike for a start um, and they're at an age where the traffic safety issue can start to get those initiatives across to them. So. Look, we were just wrapped when we were informed that we were going to get um, a crossing supervisor um, and the response, look, it's that we're only a few days into it, but the response has been magnificent. We think it'll make the world a difference to the number of kids and families who feel confident about walking to school. They'll pass the comment themselves of what an enjoyable way to start the day, walking along with the kids and having a chat. So again, from their perspective, not only is it, is it the healthy benefit and, and of the kids walking, but there's that aspect of they're, they're sort of seeing the kids and the kids are seeing them perhaps in a slightly different light than what they normally do in the school environment. So. The healthy benefits for the kids, you've got the socialisation, you've got independence, and then from a school organisational point of view, it's that traffic management that lessens that for you. Um, hi, my name's Julia. Um, I'm a Maryvale mum. My kids go to the Maryvale Primary School. I've had three girls there and I've still got one remaining there at the moment. My children have been involved in getting their bikes ready to go and learning about the safety aspects of the school and then them coming home and showing them the different skills that they've learnt and seeing them become more confident with the bike and the environment they're in. Um, I've also been lucky enough to be a, a volunteer and do the bike ed course and through that I actually learned a lot about bikes. <laughs> it, probably very first when uh, my first child started at, um, in prep, we, I probably did do a bit more driving. Um, I had one in kinder as well at the same time so that kind of dictated that and not only that as a, a a mum and your child's first going out to school you're a little bit apprehensive and scared about your kid going so yeah I did probably drive a bit more in the earlier days. I think it does build up from when you've, you're that first time mum and you're a little bit apprehensive about your child walking by themselves and then it just sort of develops as a culture. And then, and then the school develops it as a, well it's not the school so much develops it, but the parent co you know, community develops it. And then so when you see that that change and there's a shift, it, everyone sort of moves in that direction. So I've definitely seen over the years a big change in Maryvale and um, a lot more people walking and riding. The... I suppose as they grew more confident,
and um, definitely Merivale I saw over the years more and more kids riding and walking to school. So with that became me feeling a little bit more secure about letting my girls go out there and do it. There's also what I call uh, as a mum slow time. So it's where I actually get a chance to talk to the kids, you know, when you're not rushing around cooking a breakfast or, or get your bags ready, get ready, da da da, in the car, throw you out. It's actually a bit of slow time where you're just walking or you're riding together and, you know, you get to talk. Because it's kind of scary for parents when you're first setting your kids off into the school. Um, like it's new, it's unknown and um, yeah, it definitely makes a big difference knowing that they're feeling safe and that there's other kids out there doing that and that's sort of what the school is helping to promote as well. You kind of think getting in a car is quicker but by the time you tell the kids jump in the car, get your bags, put your seat belts on, you start the car, you get down there, you've got to find a park and you get out of the car and get them in there. You might as well have walked. Find other parents that are doing the same thing, make, make connections and that way they'll feel more confident, um, talk to the school, it's got a million feel good factors to it. <laughs> <laughs>